yes. Because only a fool can say in his or her heart that there is no God. We are proceeding very hastily this morning and I must remind you once again as to the number to call. We are also on Skype this morning because there are those that do not believe in what we are doing, those who do not believe in the restoration of Biafra, those who do not believe in freedom, those who have been conditioned by the damnable conditions in the zoological republic to put their freedom backwards or should i say to put personal selfish considerations before that of freedom we have a special line for nigerians for nigerians for those who believe in this damnable zoological republic those who do not believe in freedom those who challenge our modus operandi those of you who may have issues with the way we are driving this very agenda forward and that very line to join on skype is ipob or in small letters ipob 2020 ipob 2020 all one word ipob 2020 at outlook you know the microsoft um email address ipob at outlook.com i repeat you can join us on Skype via IPOB 2020 at Outlook.com. The number to call once again and for your messages remains plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven. I will caution those of you who are intending to call. That if somebody is on the line, try not to call because there is no need for it. You must listen to what they are saying before you try to phone in. And once again, allow me to repeat. The number is plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven. I repeat plus one five one two nine five five two eight zero seven. 
People are calling from everywhere. We would not waste any more time. We shall proceed to the lines to begin to take your calls. We are going to go to the line to begin to take your calls. There are some people who are already on Skype. We shall be coming to you in a short while. But meanwhile, we have a caller on the phone. Your name and where you are calling from, please. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, my name is uh, Benjamin Okuchuku. Yeah, my Facebook is Ibejo Ogugu, and I'm calling from Asia. We are in Asia. Are you calling from? I'm calling from Indonesia. From Indonesia. Very good. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Please yeah. go ahead. And uh, I strongly thank you for your good job. So you have come to deliver all black men. Thank you. Women. Thank you very much. On this podcast. And uh, my, I'm at IPOD under oath. Yes. I can never sabotage the Afra and the leader. Any day I try to do so, they go strike me dead. You say? Uh, but uh, what I want to, uh, you know, ask, because uh, we have come to, you know, bring the Afra. Yes. We have come to the no, oh, oh, ramp it up. A lot of people are on the queue. Please go straight to the point. Go ahead. I, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Yeah. The, my question is that uh, as the two other people is killing us, continue killing us from now and they are killing us, then if the UN and the World Power refuse to give us the Afro from now to five years, what will be the, you know, the answer? Are we going to march or to keep? We are not going to prevaricate, believe you me. If they continue to kill us, I have made representations to those that matter in the United States, even yesterday. I made it very clear to them in the U.S. yesterday that this cannot continue. The killings cannot continue. That if they do nothing, this year, we will be forced to defend our land. We would have no choice. All these folding our hands and providing excuses as they continue to slaughter us cannot go on, unchecked. Even yesterday, Gibson, that is a transport company called Gibson, five lorry load of them, or should I say, luxurious bus load of ginger weed were dropped at Milverton in Aba. And as we speak, the same yesterday, there was a plane laden with arms from Serbia, from Serbia, that came into Kanu on its way to Makrodi. So they are arming to invade us by land and by air. The Janjaweed have already infiltrated our land and the Nigeria Air Force will give them support through the air if we mount any premature resistance. This we know. Nigeria Air Force yesterday took delivery of arms and armaments all the way from Serbia via Kanu into Makrodi. This we know. We cannot fold our arms, of course. We have some people who are on Skype. I don't know if they can take this call. They are no longer, they have declined. I don't know why they have declined. They called and they have declined. I don't know if they shouldn't be scared. Please don't be scared. And don't be scared, please. We want to take your call. We have Pastor Godwin, a Rom Are you there with me? Can you hear me? Pastor, can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning to you. Turn your system down and I'll cut you off. Turn your system down and you speak. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. My name is Oje Kachuku Abasi. I'm calling from Mako. Thank you very much. The world is listening. Please go ahead. My, 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 my leader, I, 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 I feel like I am on heaven. I feel like I'm on heaven. Thank you for your good works. Thank you very much. Thank you for your works, my leader. Thank you. I'm coming from Mako in Enugu State. Thank you. My leader, thank you. You're welcome. I know 
I know this, this, this your movement will never stop. Our so movement is not just my own, it belongs to everybody, please. I only happen to be leading this very movement. It doesn't belong to this, me, please. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, my leader, since since I already started, this is the first day to get you online. Thank you, my leader. There are millions all over the world. I'm, 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 I don't know how to express my feelings, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very, thank very you, much. Sir. I remain blessed. We have another caller on the line. I am hoping to be able to pick up a Nigerian. Are you a Nigerian? Are you a dear friend? The caller on Skype. Can you hear me? No, they are not serious. They are not paying attention. I don't know what is wrong with them. They're not paying attention. I, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, good morning. Not in a care. Good morning to you. I thought you're a Nigerian. I, the, the Skype line, please, is only for, for people from, let me not frighten them, for, for Nigerians. Let me say, for patriotic Nigerians. Because if I say Nigerians, they may run away. They may not come again. It's for patriotic Nigerians, please. The Skype is not for Biafrans. It is for patriotic Nigerians. Those that believe in one Nigeria. Those that believe that gossiping is a way of life. I want to address them. Stop gossiping and come live. I will not cut you off. The world is listening. Come and debate me. Thank you very much my dear brother for calling let me see if we can get a nigerian on the line the caller on skype can you hear me no they're not paying attention the caller on skype can you hear me yes my leader good morning good morning i have said please be our friends if you're listening this very skype line is for nigerians only not for biafrans it is for Nigerians only. So I would recommend that you call me on the usual lines, please. This very line is for Nigerians only. If I pick it, I want it to be Nigerians. Or those that believe in one Nigeria. Or those that believe we are getting it wrong. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? For the last time, the caller on Skype, can you hear me? They are not paying attention. They are not paying attention. Let us go to the phone lines to see who is there. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is Aloysius Ogunta from... I'm calling from Germany. Where in Germany are you calling from? Hamburg. From Hamburg. And where do you come from in Biafra land? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Imo State. thank you very much. Please go ahead. That is Biafra one. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Mazi, I want to take this opportunity to thank you and all the IPO members. Yes, because please. Because of the work you are, you are doing. Thank you. Then there is something. Uh, last week I listened to your um, broadcast on Friday. Yes. Yeah, there is something you say about uh, Ireland, about the foreign countries that have interest in Nigeria. Yes. You say that Ireland is having the issue of our passport, uh, Nigerian passport. Yes. So I, uh, my opinion is if these people that have interest, is it not good to go to them and give them the same interest they have in the zoo so that they can support our movement? We are not in the business of trying to bribe anybody for a right that was given to us by God. We're not going to bribe anybody. Biafra land will be open for business. Anybody can come there to do legitimate business. We are going to be inward investment driven. Therefore, every country around the world will benefit from the emergence of Biafra. I was having discussions with some people in the western world and i said to them would you prefer to have a wealthy japan or a very poor japan they said they would prefer a wealthy japan because should the japanese economy go into recession they too will be adversely affected the same principle will apply to biafra that countries around the world will benefit because we would go and convert for those countries to come to biafra land to invest Biafra will be the hub of business in the whole of sub-Saharan Africa. 
So it is in their interest to support Biafra. We are not going to go behind the back and bribing people to come and do what is right or what God has given to us as a natural inalienable right. Thank you very, very much for calling. Thank you. We are going to Skype to see if there is a Nigerian there. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning to you and your name, please, and raise your voice and where you're calling from, if you may. You are calling from UAE. I don't know why the line is not as loud as it should be. Yes, you are calling from UAE. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Sir, I'm from Bayasa and um, I'm a proud Bia fan. You are from Bayasa and you are a proud Bia fan. Go ahead. I've been following you for a very long time and I, I I really don't know why uh, our brothers, some of them don't even think straight. No, before you before they say this is an RNG call, please, where in Bayelsa do you come from? I'm from Amarata, in Ego. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Our brothers don't think straight. They don't oh. think straight at all. They, they they see all these things happening. They see them. But don't think straight. I don't know why. Some of them, I I I, I if I I, I I I use a word foolish, they will say uh, I'm insulting them. But they don't think straight. They see everything happening. Our waters are being polluted. Everything happening. Nothing is working. Every year, they they, they are seeing that. And someone came out to fight for all of us. You lost everything. You're not selfish like others who want to collect money from the federal government. And they're still saying nonsense. They don't think straight. The only option and solution we have now is Biafra. And are you, are you, is on which ethnic nationality are you? Like I said, I'm from Bayasa. No, Bayasa is and a state. I want you to give me your ethnic nationality. If you're Eason, you say you are. If you're not, you say I am not. Yeah, I'm not. You are not. What is your ethnic nationality? How are you identified? If you come to the zoo and they ask you at the airport, where are you from? What would you say to them? I don't want the state. The state's an artificial creation. What is your ethnic nationality? Like I said, I'm from Bayesa, really. No. So no, 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 not at all. That is not the way we roll here. I need you to tell me your ethnic nationality. Your ethnic nationality. I am ethnically an Igbo man, but I am a Biafran by nationality it is as simple as that i like people who are direct and honest i don't like people who play around words i have a caller on the line can you hear me the caller on the line can you hear me he's not listening the caller on the line for the last time can you hear me then go ahead and say what you have to say, your name and where you're calling from, please. Well, my name is Roland. What is your proper name? What's the meaning of Roland? What is your proper name, please? My, my name is... My name is Obioma Ehebibo. That's your name, not what is the meaning of Roland? What is Roland? Precisely, I am from Omaha, Abia State. From Ohoho. Ohoho, thank you very much. But, yeah, but I'm living in... I'm living in Italy, in Florence. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Uh, I really want to thank you so much for your efforts in this struggle. And um, I really want to pour a lot of accolades on you for everything you have been doing. But, Marty, I need to ask you just one question. There was something I saw online last time that people living in the U.S. were 
uh, registering. They was living in U.S. We are registering about their ethnic. Yes. I am from Omaha, precisely. I'm from Omaha. Go ahead, we are listening. Go ahead, we are listening. It's, we have a caller on the line. This very caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Goodbye, sir. Good morning to you. Please go ahead. Goodbye, sir. Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is, my name is Remy Gisuzuko. I'm from Inno State. I'm calling from Libya. I'm a, my, uh, I'm a Tripoli coordinator. Thank you very much. And what is your proper, proper name? What is all this craze about uh, European names? Remigius Roland. What's the meaning of that? What is your proper name? Uh, yeah? Okay, my name is Kelechuku. Simple. Kelechuku. Can you compare uh, Kelechuku with, with, the, with that thing you told me? What's your name? Do you know the meaning of Kelechuku? What's the meaning of it? Okay. okay. What is the meaning of Kelechuku? I'm asking you, what is the meaning of Kelechuku? The meaning of Kelechuku is thank God. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So, my friend, I, I'd like to to say that our people from this Nigeria, Nigeria people, Nigeria people, they are, they are very serious to disturb us. So, I don't know what to do. So, I need your help. Are they, they, it's, uh, hang on, does it mean that it is all these this, uh, Nigerians, these niggers from, from Nigeria? Are you telling me that they are the owners of Libya as well? Do they own Libya? Uh, uh, they are bribing, uh, they are bribing the government of Libya. To so do they what? They us anyhow. They have to, that is what, the, the zoo are doing what they are supposed to do. That is the way animals yeah. behave. So they are doing what yeah. any other animal will do. That is who they are. That is the way they are. You cannot stop them, but rather you walk through them and continue to do the very great work that some of you are doing in Libya. I have a caller on Skype. This very caller, can you hear me? Thank you very much. Where are you calling from? Uh, if you can remember when you came to Kuwait, that a uh, man. <laughs> the Edo man in Kuwait. <laughs> Thank you very much, of course. I'm from Isa land and Isa land is Biafra. Thank not you. Uh, those uh, have big uh, uh, stories they are telling us that are not adding up. I want, when you say you're from Edo, I want to know your ethnic nationality because Edo is not an ethnic nationality. We have a Shan, we have Vini. Where, where are you from? Esa. 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 Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Esa. It's called E S A N. It's E S A N, not E S H A N. It's Esan. No, not I S A N. Isha. We are not Isha. We are Esan. E S A N. And uh, can I ask you a very simple question? How many pieces okay. of wrapper does your mother tie, please? Two, two, two pieces of wrapper. One is long, and the second one is shorter. <laughs> you will see the two lines from the downside. You will see the two line of the wrapper. One is down. The second one will take a coach from maybe like a half inch or an inch. But you, 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 you are, you are your father's son. You understand it very well, and you have even described it more better than I ever could. Thank you very much. Of and course, Esan is part and parcel of Biafra. As long as your mother ties two piece wrapper, you are a Biafran. Please go ahead. Exactly, and the story they are telling is not adding about how Benin came, how Esa came from Benin, it's all lies. It's just like a kid that uh, is reading A, B, C, D, but he's starting from uh, N, N to Z. <laughs> the story is like from N to Z, but where is the A from A, B, C, D to N? We don't have that. That is where the secret is. That is where the difference between Esa and Edo is. That is where the answer to why Esa is suffering in Edo, the same fate Ibo is suffering in Nigeria. That is true. We are not brothers. We are not equal. We are not brothers. So only Biafra can give us the freedom and the, 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 the entire um, will help us to benefit what humanity, humanity is all about. 
we've been cut short from so many things. We are not benefiting anything. If you go to Eastern land, you will notice it. There is no road. There is no schools. There is no any industry. No Nepal. No electricity. In my village, from my father died at the age of 70 something. Up to my father, the time my father died, no light. I grew up up to 30 and 38 years now. There is no light. There is no road there. So how can you tell me that uh, we are equal in Benin? We are not. We are not the same brother. Biafra will give us the freedom we deserve. Hey, some people, let me use this opportunity and speak to you. If you are listening, talk to your people back home. Can you speak? Can you let speak Esan dialect? Biafra. Can you speak Esan dialect? Hey, some speak? people, back home, back home, back home, back home, back home, any program now. From Mazinam the Kanu, back home, back home, Jima Chieke this time, who will make sure we support in the in the Biafra no 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 Ladiana. Even no record Ladian last time Nena Akon mana ya deba do Akon. Me why my boy ya bolo kwa my minguna inguna ya bo o deri bo pari bo wa huna ba Jima Rio bo ba in the Biafra no no Ladiana. Ma make sure my support the Mazin Nam the Kanu. Eno kiana no Larena. Okay, now I'm freedom, ni mabo. Oh, no. Why? 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 Or we rule we governor with those states. Everybody, I know. Or I do not know where is a man. Or I am Ladian with governor. A Umori over here. A Beijing have a union. A a a Beijing have a union. A Beijing have a cut short or basic arrangement to allow a some person in next ten or or he have a fighting ya. A Umori over here. No, I will start from eight years. A same opportunity we a do. But the man support the Biafra. Man make man a sabo free. But when we go. So Thank that you. is it, part of it from uh, uh, you language have done well. I share with uh, my language. And another thing I want to say generally, with the youth, if we did not do what we are supposed to do now as youths, at the end of the day, the children we are bearing now, they will also blame us, just like we are blaming our parents now. The truth is that our parents have failed us. They have failed to um, secure our future for us. So that we can live in an enabling environment. They are afraid to do that and they are continuing to sabotage our effort to make our future better. So that is evil. So for that reason, I want to say that or plead with them. Let me use the word plead with them. Let them also ask themselves some questions. If you have a child and you are not able to train your child, can you go outside and hit your chest and say, yes, my children must respect me? You don't have that right. You have to train your children so that they, when they grow up, even in your absence, they can be able to take care of ourselves, of themselves. How can you hit your chest today and say, yes, I have been able to clear route for my kids? I remember those days if we are going to the farm, I will follow behind my father. He will be using matches to clear the way. Any rough tree that will injure, injure, injure us, he will use matches and clear them away. And then we'll have a good access to get to the route we are going to. That is exactly the practical way of what I'm saying. Our parents are supposed to clear the way for us. Clear all this ginger wood for us. Clear all the bad road for us. Clear all the, the suffering, the lack of electricity, lack of road, lack of water, lack of job, lack of industry. Provide them for us so that when the time comes, we'll have those things to benefit from. But no, yet they are hitting chest and telling us we are supposed to respect them. How am I supposed to respect you when you are failed? If you don't know that you are afraid, you should you should know now that you are afraid, and you have no reason to demand respect from us. Anyhow, I like I will talk to you because you don't you don't want you, you are not worthy to, to to have my respect. So, like personally, I am working all day to make sure I provide for my my, my my kids when they grow up. So that way, I can hit my chest and say my I deserve the respect from my my, my kids. How can you hit your chest and say you deserve my respect? So if you have if you have faith, you have to take note of that. You have faith. If you must, um, um, uh, if you must deserve my respect, then 
what you have not done before that you know you have done wrong, start to correct it now. Then I can begin to think of it. And people who are saying that we lack not or we lose uh, uh, respect, bear in mind that when Biafra come, that true training that we gain from our parents, it will come back automatically because it's naturally in us to respect our elders. But you don't expect me to respect an elder who don't even know that he's, he's, he has faith. That is an elder without no shame. So we please our brothers and sisters out there, whether you are supporting IPOB or not, or you are not supporting, if you have anything against IPOB, keep it to yourself. Don't bring it to public to, to, to discredit what Mazin and the Kanu is doing. You what you are doing is like a man who go outside and he sees his mate. Instead of fight this his mate, he run away and go home to start beating his younger brother. Because that's where he will want to show his strength. <laughs> you are a fool if you are doing that. You are a fool. Thank you very much, my dear brother. I, I have learned so people. much from you this morning. Thank you very, very much. Against Fulani. Go and show your strength, <laughs> your strength against, uh, against uh, 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 fake, uh, fake Buhari that is in, 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 in public there. Go and show your strength against the, the person that slaughtered your sister and pieces her like cow. If you want to make video to discredit Nandi Kanu, you are like going home to beat your younger brother. Go and make a video and show that guy that was butchered and show it to the world. Go and make a video and show that man that was killed in Donje River and show it to the world. Not commit to, for, 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 for cheap, cheap, cheap popularity. Fake people. We you don't, are, we, you we are, don't, you we, are we very, very kind, my dear brother. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much, my very, very eloquent and uh, direct. Or should I say succinct? You heard what he said, where he comes from. People know who they are. You don't need somebody to tell you who you are. You know who you are. He knew the mom tied to peace rapper. And I've been saying, please, to those of I want. There is no need, as our brother just uh, educated us now, going and writing rubbish or gossiping. I want you to call any of our numbers and debate. Come and debate us. We are here waiting for you. There is a caller also on the other Skype, as you say. Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Um, eventually, to your login to our Apple. Oh, sorry, I have to speak English. Um, yes, what please. And what is your name someone? again, please? What is your name? Uh, my name is Uche Udeze. Thank you. Uche Thank you. Udeze. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Oh, see, what I want, what I want to say is uh, there's something that I actually observed um, about our brothers and sisters back home. Um, uh, when they are being shot by the police and they are asked to go to the police station to get a police report before they will be treated. And who shot them? The police. Who are they going to, to get this police report from? The police. So at the end of the day, they will not get the police report. Some of them will die in the process. I am asking this morning, we have... In IPOB, we have lots of people from the medical section. What I am asking them and challenging them this morning to come together. Yes. There's the whole lot of doctors, nurses, lot of them. This line is not this can you can you please try and call us back? This line is not stable at all. Call us on the other on the other um, um Skype line, please, if you may. Let us go into the land of Bia Francis who is there. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they can't. The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they're not paying attention. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Not paying attention. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line, can you hear me? Yeah, good morning, Ahmadike. This is Ogugo, I'm calling from London. 
from London. Thank you very much. The world is listening. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Hamadike, for your effort, and uh, I thank your wife as well, who gave you the courage uh, to work hard. Thank you. Uh, you can be able to see now you are waiting for, you know, the these enemies to enemies in Biafra name to call and they could not come to defend anything because these people are not real people. They are not real people. They are fake. <laughs> they, are, they are all you know, they are computer generated names by the yeah, box yeah. team of, of Russia and in Israel. All computer yeah. generated. You will see them, you will think that they, they, they are human beings but they are not. That is why they can never call. We are waiting for them to call. Now they can't call. Go ahead please. Yeah, they are, they are fake. Uh, their name is fake. The, the money Nigeria give them is fake. Everything about them is fake. I like people who who are truthful when they when they do things. But however, uh, the reason why I call now is uh, two things. One should be, uh, why do we need uh, uh, Islam again in Biafra land? It's not, it doesn't add up that we fight for freedom. After we fight for freedom, we bring this sort of religion that is killing us. I used to be a Catholic. I don't want to go there. Oh, when they do Bubu Yaya to Arinze, I said I'm not going to worship there anymore. I live the What did they do to Arinze? Please tell the world. What did they do to Arinze? Tell they hand over power to Razinga, Razinga a German. How can a German be a Pope? It is Arinze who's supposed to be a Pope. But everybody forget it. They are still going to the church and worship. I said, no, it doesn't add up with me. This is time they have to give this power to a black man to rule Catholic church because we have contributed enough. Arise even don't even care. He doesn't even know that they did boo-boo here -boo to him. But however, let's leave this issue of Arise. I'm talking now. Why do we need Islam again in Biafra when Biafra come? This is not our religion. We don't have anything compatible with them. They have nothing to contribute in a black man country. I think we have to decide now that we don't need them. So they can go and stay where the other side they want to stay with. That is one. The other thing I want to say, you know, before in 1967, 70, yes. when they were slaughtering us, mm -hmm. there are some states that supported Biafra. Is it now time for we to go and, you know, really engage with them and say hello? Uh, sorry, we are we have not been able to contact you before. We didn't forget because we are waiting for the right time. We want to tell you now. We thank you for what you do during that time, and uh, our uh, our our cause to restore our country is back again. I think is it will show that uh, yes, we remember their support and their help during that time. That's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much, and we are going to do that. And when we do, we are not going to announce it. You know that the zoo is very very wealthy. They have money. They will start spraying it around. That is what they do. But thank you also for calling. Thank you for the insightful. Um, um, should I say uh, calling this morning? I have another caller on the line. Can you hear me? They cannot. The caller on the line. Can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from. Thank you, sir. My name is my name is uh, Pastor Jack, and I'm calling from Lagos. Sir. And where do you come from? So I come from I come from in Wisi. Wisi is to Ohaji. Ohaji. Ohaji with my local. It's okay. It's okay. Ohaji is fine by us. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Go ahead. You are a pastor, you said. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm a pastor, sir. I hope you're not a fake pastor. Uh, one of these dodgy miracle workers. Ndiyoshi. I hope you're not one of them. No, no, sir. Because I'm I can't stand pastor. them. I can't stand them. Please I'm go ahead. Fake, I'm not a fake pastor. Bible permits, Bible permits freedom. Moses was a freedom fighter, as well as Joshua. All the whole of the Bible we read, freedom, God permits freedom. So any man of God that is not... Supporting our freedom, that person is not being sincere. That is the truth. Thank you. Go ahead. So, um, first of all, I want to appreciate you. And uh, there's something I want to ask because most times uh, it baffles me. You see, some of our people, some of them you know, we are fighting. IPOB is fighting on a daily basis for a way to rescue our people. But each time you see that they crop up by data of 200. They will be attacking IPOB. And the most of these people, if you actually ask them, what do IPOB or leader do to you? They don't have anything. I don't really know. I don't really know why our people are this this way. You will take your time and engage them. Say, what, what actually is your problem? They will not give you anything. I asked some of them a few days ago. We, are, we have a meeting.
media world. See, you are condemning, you are saying that the IPO is threatening Uodo. Have you, did you not hear when Uodo was in Lagos and said he would sabotage the Africa? Okay. Have you not, okay, in your state where you come from, this has made key people. They rape our mothers, our sisters, and our daughters. What have you said ever since then? Is it now that we hear that we are asking Uodo to stop what he, what he is doing? You come now begin to write some nonsense about IPO. Why is our people this way? That was one question. And the second one, like as of as yesterday, the health men, I don't know how they penetrated, they entered our room last night, crowd of them with thousands of their cow. Are, are, what approach are we going to are we going to take to make sure we stop these people from invading our land? Because it is obvious the governors, the so-called elders, are against us because they have sold out. Sir, that, these are my questions this morning. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much for calling. I'll answer your questions. I will start with the last one, the invasion. The invasion will continue until we stop them. It will continue. It is in the full army mindset. That is the way they are. Janja Buddhism is about what is called the conquest of Islam. People see Islam as a religion. But in the hands of the full army, as it is in the zoo, that is why I feel sorry for any Biafran saying he or she is a Muslim. I feel sorry for you because the mistakes the houses did is exactly what you're doing. You are inviting your own doom. Islam in the hands of the Hausa people is tolerable. Islam in the hands of the Kanuri people is tolerable. Do I even, do I even dare to say it? Islam in the hands of Oduduwa people, I can say it's safe. But Islam in the hands of Fulani is a, is a very deadly virus and they will consume everybody. So the invasion you witness is all low, is just the beginning. It will keep happening until our men go into action. And our, our men will not go into any action until we all realize that we are in a mess, including the saboteurs, including until our people turn their. Don't blame the Fulani, blame the saboteurs within you. Blame those that go to Abuja to collect money for one Nigeria. Blame those that come on television to say, no, we support one Nigeria. Go and vote. They are the ones to blame. Not the foreign. Of course, nature abhors vacuum. We are living in Lagos. We are living in London. We are living in, 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 in Paris. We are living in, 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 in München. We are living in New York. We are in Chicago. Somebody has to occupy the village. And the foreign leaders have decided to occupy it. To take it over, to rape and to kill us in the process. That's how life works. You can't abandon your village, you're living in Lagos, you're living in Abuja. People will come to take it now. That's how life is. And that's what they're doing. And you talked about people who are these are people that you know their 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 fathers are coming back to invade us. Most of their fathers or themselves were born by Janjaweed during the war. I've, I keep saying this all the time. There was so much hunger in the land. So much hunger in the land that some women sadly gave themselves away. We know those today who have made it politically or have turned out to be millionaires. Immediately, some of them, even during the war, they were taking their daughters and their wives to Janjaweed. You know why? Macaulay Road. So a ginger weed can sleep with their wife or their daughter to give them food. And after the war, give them contract. Most of the millionaires that came out after the war, 90% of them, we are those that compromised themselves, that gave their daughters or their wives to ginger weed. Because before then, a ginger weed can never ever touch a Biafran woman. Never. When they go to the market and they brush beside the Biafra, they go back and they do like they, they do party in their homes. Ask them in Kanu, ask them in Kaduna, in Zaria, ask them in Sokoto. When a, a Janja, and imagine when they go to the market in those days, you see all these people, Tanko Yakasai, all these um, uh, Anga Abdullahi. When they were young, if they brush, I mean, as you're walking on the street, you brush past an evil woman. You see this Anga, they go back home and they celebrate, they have a party. They ask them, why are you killing ram and goat? They say, because today in the market, my body touched that of an evil woman. Go and ask anybody in the Lord, they will tell you. But we cheapened ourselves immediately after the war. They gave birth to rubbish. 
they gave birth to nonsense, pure garbage. And those garbage begat even more bad, even more rubbish. They are the idiots, you see, writing junk. And we know where they come from. Isn't it very ironic? They always come from a particular place. And where they come from during the war, there was no war there. Fulani was ruling them. Impregnating their women, they gave birth to rubbish. That is why there will be a compulsory DNA test in Biafra land. Compulsory DNA test. We want to know who fathered us. They, those are the idiots that you see. And they are not even in the minority. They don't exist. They only exist in the realm of, um, of um, social media. One or two of them. With their multiple fake accounts. Sponsored by politicians that took our own money. Jonathan gave you money to build road, to build road from Enugu to Anisha, from Enugu to Iguacha, and you pocketed the money and shared it with your friends. Because sometimes I blame the zoo, I blame Nigeria, but we know that the real problem is the quality, or should I say, the criminals that we produce or that rig themselves into political office. Ask them how many times did Jonathan award the road of Iguacha to Enugu? How many times did Jonathan not pay them this money? I have asked them before, rather than writing rubbish as a rented as a rented um, petition writer. I want people to rise up one day and ask all these idiots that you're seeing. Because I said the truth about it, Kegwe Madu. They're writing rubbish. It, where is the money that was given to you to build Enugu to Iguacha a space road? Where is the money? We are busy blaming Zoo, blaming uh, Janjaweed, of course. They are supposed to be blamed because of what they are doing to us. But the little money that was given to build Enugu to Onisha express, express road, where is the money? Who took it? The money that was awarded to build Owere to Omoaya. Where is the money? Who ate it? And when we say that those people should be stoned, people start to talk rubbish. Because they have the mentality of Alamajiri, of Rankadede. Because the blood in them says that when somebody is oppressing you, you must serve that person. You must even be more loyal to that person. That is what they are doing. They may answer a Biafra name, they may answer an Igbo name, but um, for goodness sake, uh, they are not part of us and can never ever be people are calling all over the place i want by somebody called philip adejo i want to call him back this philip adejo i don't know maybe he is um maybe he is um he is um let me see who is calling i want to see who is calling us on on skype i hope and pray very sincerely that this very person that is calling is can you hear me the caller on Skype, can you hear me? Yes, please. Your name, please, and where you're calling from? My name is Adedio, and I'm calling from Thailand. From Thailand? Please go ahead. Yes, sir. And where are you from? I'm from Kogi State, Ampara, to be precise. I need your ethnicity. Ethnicity, please. I'm from Okinji local government. No, that is not your ethnicity. Are you a Gala? Are you Yoruba in Kogi? You are a Gala. Gala. You are a Gala. Are you a Gala Muslim or you are a Gala Biafran? Which one are you? I mean, but a Gala Biafran. A Gala Biafran, because we, is it true that you have you? We have Muslims in Gala, isn't it? Yes, we have Muslims. Yes, majorly Muslims, but the few are still Christians. Because I know my mom ties two rappers. Each time she goes for for church meetings and. Uh, other community meetings he always ties two rappers uh, one long and one short of course of course in 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 kogi of course that was why i included kogi as part of biafra and during my interrogation when i was at dss um, um dungeon in abuja they said why should i somebody a senior dss officer from kogi said you even added my my place and i said to him don't we look alike you and i and he started laughing I said, don't we look alike? Now, what I want to ask you is this. Um, how did Islam enter Kogi State, if I may ask Galalan? How did Islam get there? Do you know? 
uh, from much studies that I did, I found out that we were conquered by the by the Fulanis, and uh, and initially because our name is Igala, which means God's sheep, and uh, we were conquered by the by the Muslims, and uh, the now our king about that time, the Atta of Igala about that time, mm-hmm. was forced to bow down to the Emir. If he doesn't bow down, they were going to kill him, and they were going to kill his people. So for it, for the for the for um, the Atta of Igala to bow down is like it's a taboo and it's a it's a cost for the land. So he took his life instead of bowing down to the to the uh, to the Muslims, and that was when he lost his life. The Muslim now enrolled another Atta of Igala by themselves, who became a Muslim. I think that was how the Islamic religion came to the whole of Igala land. I respect you so much. I know why I asked you to, to tell us what happened, because I know. I just wanted it to come from you. And I wanted to see how, how should I say, how knowledgeable you are about your own history. Because I don't like people who are not knowledgeable, people who are supposed to know, but they refuse to learn. Now, you, now the whole world must know this. That Kogi State, Kogi from a Jokuta all the way down, am I correct? Is that correct? Exactly. Is it Gala land? Is that exactly. not correct? Now. Exactly. Now. People don't know this. That there was an Atta of a Gala. The same way there was a king, a Bini king, that refused to bow yes. to Britain. And he was exiled. Exactly. The same exactly. way, the same thing that Britain did to our traditional rulers was exactly what the Fulani brought with them. The Atta of a Gala is like a, a god king. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. The Atta of a Gala. When the Fulanese came, the Fulanese said that the Atta of a Gala must bow to the Sultan of Sokoto. And yes, the Atta of a Gala said, no. Because yes. of who I am, we don't bow before any human being. It's only God that will bow down before. Yes. And yes. do you know that this man, that is, people don't know any time I include the Gala, they have no reason why. As to why a Gala was, is Biafra, among, not just because our mother's tied to peace rap, of course they do, in a Gala land. Because of the bravery of a Gala people. This a Gala king said, instead of me to bow down before you, I'll kill myself. And yes. he committed suicide. As a mark of honor. Rather than bow yes. before a full a man, sultan. That was what our sister said earlier. That was why our sister said, why are we bringing this Islam, alien religion? I said, no, it's not Islam that is the problem. It is those practicing it. The way that the Fulani practice Islam is very, very deadly. I want our, it's a good thing. I don't know how you managed to get through. It's a good thing you called this morning. So that our people will know, those who are defending their several masters will know what shall become of us in the next 50 years without IPAB? What happened in a gala? If you want to, let's forget to even how some people go to a gala and see the fate of a gala. What happened to a gala will happen to us. The same thing they did to the attack of a gala on his tool is what they did in Nemo State. They brought Opus on the man and they put him there. They know he will do their bidding. Once the, the original attack was out of the way, they brought a Muslim Atta and gave to them. Exactly what they did to Hausa people, what they did to our Igala people, and what they intend to do to Igbo people. And this idiots, they cannot see it. Because they are dumb. I thank you. Please go ahead and say what you have to say. Go ahead. So, uh, I am so happy to get through today. I've been trying on the WhatsApp for so long, but it's not been going through. But I'm so happy. I've been following you for the since uh, 2015. I heard the first time I heard your voice, I heard truth, and it was burning in me like a sensation because when I hear the truth, I know this is the truth. I heard it and I started following the truth, which was me following you since that day till today. Because and the, to crown it all was when you called my people because I am part. Igala, I am part Benue. I'm part Kogi, I'm part Benue because my mom is from Benue State. My dad is Kogi. My mom is from Benue, from Motoko, over yes. Benue. So I started following you because I knew it strongly in me that even while I was still in Nigeria, I felt something in me like I am not part of these people. I am always scared. This time I am walking in the streets of Nigeria. 
I am scared like someone who doesn't have the passport, like someone who doesn't have the permit to walk on. Each time I see any military man or any policeman, I still felt that fear in me, like I am not welcome. The moment you started speaking about the Igala people, I was so happy. I wished I could tell the Igala people to listen and follow follow this IPOB movement and follow because the only way we can get freedom is through Biafra. If you look at Kogi State today, there is absolutely nothing to write about. There is absolutely nothing working in the in Kogi State. There is absolutely nothing for any youth from that con from that part of the state to have anything reasonable unless you go and bow down to the northerners. That is what now Kogi State has become a even even people people from the east now look at us as northerners they look at us as the as the muslims they look at us like oh these people are not they are they are they are, they are Hausa people because majorly the whole of Kogi state has become muslim state that mm -hmm. no one really knows where they was are was it muslim before was Kogi muslim before no our names doesn't our name doesn't, doesn't even protest that that point that 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 name that image of being a muslim because from our name you know where we are from exactly. it's that the ships of god it is there in the bible a gala is in the bible people don't know this the same way that Ad is in the bible a gala is also in the bible and the gala people are the children of the most high we are we all are our people don't understand history they don't read their history books they don't even do research they are using their smartphones and doing selfies and posting on, on Facebook and Instagram. They don't want to use that smart device to do a little bit of history. Type in the name of your village and try to discover who you are and where you come from. And you will know that Islam is an alien religion. All they are alien to our land. And, that's, and I keep saying this thing to some people. The, the Jews never took Christianity to the West. The West had to come to Jerusalem to look for it. They yes. came to look for it. The people don't know who the Knights Templars are. They have no idea who the Knights Templars are. People don't, they have not been to, to Jerusalem, so they have no idea about the history of the Old and the New Testament. That is why when they speak from a position of ignorance, I feel sorry for them. I feel pity for them, honestly. My dear brother, I am so grateful for your call this very morning. Very, very grateful. And continue to bless, guide, sustain, and keep you and the whole of a government nation now and always. I have another caller. I am hoping to be able to speak to a Nigerian. Are you a Nigerian? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? I don't know if the line went off or if he disappeared. I have no idea what may have transpired, but he is no longer there. We are going to the other line to see, of course, that we are inundated with calls. Inundated with calls. I don't know. They're not even ringing anymore. They just flash and they just disappear. Let me see if I can call this very person myself. No, it is not working as usual. It is not working. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? People should call on Skype, please. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? For the last time, the caller on Skype, can you hear me? No. The, the caller on Skype, can you hear me? Oh dear. I don't know if that's to... The caller on Skype, can you hear me? No. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning, my leader. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is Ken Len I'm ah. calling you from Iguacha. From Iguacha, the capital of Biafra land. The, our new capital. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes, my leader. Oh. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you for what you are doing for us. We In fact, I want to tell you the truth. If not to you and IPOB, I wonder what will become a force here, back in Biafra land by this time around. Because what those people plan to do for us is to destroy us. Is to destroy us completely. Yes. And it's so painful that our parents, our fathers, who are supposed to say the truth are not saying the truth because of one peanut or the other they are getting from the zoo government called Nigeria. 
It's so painful. I watched yesterday on Facebook where Nyangwood was saying that anybody that will... Can you hear me? Against, uh, yes. yes my go ahead, we are listening. Go ahead, we are listening. Yeah. Nyangwood is saying that he will sabotage everything that Biafras are doing because of the Nigerian uh, government are giving him peanuts. I'm not saying the truth. We, the children of Biafra, since they cannot protect our future, we, are, we have risen up to do that. And we must do that through IPOB, which you alone is commanding. So I pray that you will continue to guide you, strengthen you, protect he us, said, and give us Biafra at the end. He said, in the mighty name of Chukwu Kabia. He said, he said, he said, thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much for that very call. That is something that people don't understand. As our brother said earlier from Essam, he said, you went to farm with your father as a child. You're carrying a basket on the head. And your father is at the front. And your father cannot clear the bushes for you, clear the road for you. You as a little child to be walking behind him. Of what use are you then? What use are you as a father? You have people who are there claiming their fathers. And people are coming into our land and they're killing us. Slaughtering us. And they're doing nothing. And people have the temerity. People have the effrontery. They have the evil in them to be supporting them. Very terrible. They call her uh, on Skype. Can you hear me? They call her on Skype. Can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from. Um, Mazi, I am so happy to be able to connect to you. My name is uh, Rapolu Chuku Okeke. Thank you. And where are you calling from? I am. I am calling from the land of Philippines. Philippines, please go ahead. Yes, I I am from uh, Idemili local government uh, from Mpo. Mpo, yes. Very strong people. Go ahead. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, Mazi, I want to say thank you very much for your effort to restore our blessed land of Biafra. It is really a great work you are doing. Uh, one thing I want to tell people, they don't understand what it is to free somebody from a mental slavery. It takes a great job. So personally, I want to advise you, since they are talking, a lot of people, like you always say, a lot of sabu will come out from their hiding holes to say all manner of things, and that doesn't move you. That word always gives me strength when you say that. So I want to advise you, if that insult they are, they are complaining about, I could want you to intensify that insult so that they, they, they may have sense. Because it takes a great job, it takes a great job to free somebody from mental slavery. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear brother. You have spoken very well. Some of them don't understand what we are doing. They have no idea as to what we are doing. They have no clue whatsoever. But I am very happy that our people understand what we are trying to accomplish. We want to set everybody free. It doesn't matter what they say. It is irrelevant to me. Our march is unstoppable. The caller online, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from. Uh, my name is Oke Baharam. I'm from Omoaka. Omoaka is in Olo. Yes. Olo is in I know Omoaka. I know Omoaka. Thank you very much. Please yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Marzi, I'm calling from India this morning. From India. So, Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm in India. Uh, Marzi, I want to just give a little bit of advice to possibly IPOB all over the world and also a sign of warning to those that are trying to sabotage what you are doing. In essence, I, I think. Uh, it's going to be very clear for us to understand that when we are telling the elders the truth, people that call them, themselves the elders that are supposed to fight to, to fight the war, which we are fighting today for us, which our brother pointed out before that our elders failed us, which is true. When we are trying to correct the narrative of yesterday and people are stepping up to be telling us that we are insulting them, I think that is what I find very, very irredeemable and is totally unacceptable. We are claiming or trying to possibly copy some things from the Europeans who have built civilization through the fight we are fighting today. Because if you check it anywhere in the world, there's no country in the world that built civilization who didn't pass through all this. 
you have to fight, you have to conquer before that is the foundation of civilization. You cannot try to tell us to be politically correct why we have not done what the Europeans did last 200 years ago. Our forefathers didn't do that. That is the, the stronghold of civilization. If you, if Nigeria today is the way it is because it's like a, a castle built on a sandy beach, there's no roots on it. So the only way we can build a civilization in our land is to do what? Fight this fight and get filter or filter out people that are going to hold our civilization back, which is what is what is happening. These elders, these people are demons. They have been holding the civilization for a long time. You understand? And if we didn't do that, there's no way we'll be civilized. We have to filter these people out and we are not going to change this line of defense. We must continue this way. And if they don't like it, let them deal with it. We have to fight this fight and we are choos we are choosing to do it this way. We cannot be politically correct when we have not built a stronghold or a route for the civilization we want. You understand? So I am sounding like a warning to them and also as an encouragement to every IPOB or every Biafran all over the world to understand that this is the only way forward for us. Anybody petting it or trying to possibly say anything that is going to contradict this line of defense is a no-no for us. It's a no-no for us. We are going to continue this way because there's no way you can build a civilization without fighting this fight. Thank you very much and God bless you. And remain blessed as well my dear brother and i am learning so much today from people learning so much learning so much from our people learning so much this morning that is how intelligent we are i am learning from people who are calling in this morning i am learning so much from them people don't know that in america they were not politically correct they killed their saboteurs in america america you love today oh i'm in new york i'm in chicago i'm in los angeles they killed their saboteurs george washington led a war against the british although his descendants were british he fought them and he won in the united kingdom some of you do not know a man called oliver cromwell the people led a revolution. In France, the same. In Russia, the same. Right across human civilization. Our own revolution, we've not even killed them all. We are just telling them the truth and they said they are crying. In every other place, every corrupt, any society to move forward. People say, oh, Ghana, they have lights in Ghana. Ghana, people are quiet. They are correct. Because Jerry Rollins killed all the corrupt people in Ghana. That's why Ghana is okay. They were all killed. Every killed, slaughtered in broad daylight. How can you be? You have a tumor growing, and you leave it. You keep massaging it every day. You apply oil. You treat it well. You be nursing it. You petting it like a child, or you cut it off. Pet it and it will kill you, or you cut it off and you survive. We are alive and we are direct, and the whole world is of course listening. This is Radio Biafra, our question. Please, can you go and ask the Sabo, including baby saboteurs? Some of them may claim they have not gotten through. Please, can you get their names, please? Get me their contact, I will call them myself. Put it, please, somebody should put it on, the, on, 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 on Facebook. Just go to my wall. Give me their contact and I will contact them myself. Please, we don't want any excuses. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning to you, my dear brother. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm Pastor Ibo Hiramoselli. I'm calling from the UK. I'm an Asian man. Asian. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. I just wanted to add to uh, what my pastor brother said earlier on, who spoke. And, uh, but you yourself, you're also a pastor. Yes, yes. So I'm all, all our Asian people, uh, maybe they're going to be like the house of Levi. All of you are going to be pastors. So I want to strengthen what he has said because a Thank pastor right. is supposed to stand against every form of oppression. Of course. Of course, yes. Go ahead. And as a result, he becomes a freedom fighter. So, uh, I want to say also, there was a brother who was saying, asking, he doesn't know why the people are behaving the way they are behaving. Yes. If he has followed the man, uh, the expositions of uh, Simon Epa on the cow meat, they yes. are taking that thing very lightly. It has a serious effect on the people. There's nothing like casting a spell on the people. 
it is only if you are having the power of God that you can dispel or break away from such spells. So a lot of the reasons why these people, why they will even give them money and they will see oppression, they will see people killed, butchered, and the people will not be able to say, no, this is unacceptable. It's because they are under a spell. Are, uh, that's why I like the way Mr. Ipa usually puts it. He said, let's not be angry with them, but let's do as much as we can to liberate them, to set them free. But, but how, how can you set them free? People are eating meat that a, a full animal will have sex with a cow. Yeah. A full animal will have sex with a cow. And yeah. and and so in most cases, uh, as you have seen the rubbish that they're giving back to the north, uh, the, the cow may even uh, 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 take him. As it's been happening. And after having sex with a cow, they now kill that cow and sell it to you, you eat. Hey! Yes, that's, my goodness. Man. We're, on the same, we're, the, we're on the same point that oh, they should goodness. boycott cow eating. And that's why that expose, I share it, and everyone that loves freedom will share that so that people know. Not a lot of people know that, that these Fulani people are doing those things. What are they cows. doing? Say, the, what are they doing to their cows? What are the Fulani doing to their cows? They are sleeping with the cows, they are having sex with cows. Having sex with the cow. After having sex with the cow, they sell it to us. That's it. That's it. Hey. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. And then they cast spells on people through that. And that's why they are able to manipulate people. You know? So we 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 that that exposition needs to go on. We need to publish that information so it gets to every nook and cranny of the earth. I so promise you that I will. I am going to publish it. I will take more interest in that. Cow meat is bad for our people. Our people must understand this. The more cow meat you eat, the more the full and hold over you is continuing. Thank you, my dear brother. Thank you very much for that. I have somebody waiting on the line. Plus 258 is the beginning of your number. Please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is uh, I'm calling from Mozambique. From Mozambique. Turn your system down, please. So I can hear myself. Turn it down, please. Turn it down, or you walk away from there. Okay. Turn it down. Good morning, my leader. This is Chief Tillman coming from Mozambique. From Mozambique, please go ahead. Okay, my leader, I want to thank you so much for the work you are doing. I've been following your page for so long. I've seen the abuse you rendered on you. To my greatest surprise this morning, that I watched Mr. Nyawudu. And I'm coming publicly to say that he will sabotage the struggle of repression of uh, Biafra. The problem is that the Indian man is a man is a son of a father. I wonder when he came back to India and all of us. Then they are all put in that poor nation. Then they will know that what you are doing that you are not joking. But I ask him, I hear you, son of a father. All of them, they are not going to hear me. And for a man of a family, I believe some of them will come back to their family. That's what I have to say. Thank you very much. I, I received representation from a lot of people that I have regard and respect for including also Senator Enyine Baribe and my brother in the USA. A lot of them were saying that we should lift this, very, they call it fatwa, it's not fatwa, it's just a directive. They said we should lift it so that we don't want anything to happen to him and then they will say it's us. I'm asking everybody to allow him. And as they said, some callers have said this morning, that um, they are under a spell. Maybe Niamodo eats a lot of um, cow meat that the Fulanis have slept with. Maybe that's why he's the way he is. So I, I ask you to, to leave them. We'll give them some time to repent. Uh, if they don't repent between now and the next three months, then uh, we'll make their life a misery. we we'll give them time to repent. All of them. Don't stone him if you see him. Leave him. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? I have a caller on the phone, can you hear me? No, are they there or they've gone? I believe that they are no longer there. They have gone, they're no longer there. I have another one on the line, the caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line. I don't know if they can hear me. No. 
The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yeah. Please, your name and where you're calling from? Yes, um, my, my leader, Muhammad Ike Wan. Walk away from your walk away from your system. I can hear your system. Walk away from it, Attorney Dan, please. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Please proceed. Okay. My name is Onyeko Zulu Ibozurike. I I based in South Africa, and uh, I am from Osu local government. Umuha Kabia village. Yes. Um, yes. Imo State province. Province of uh, Imo State. Yes, right. Yes, right. yes, my leader. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for all you are doing for our people. Even though there are some that do not appreciate that. Many, many of us do appreciate you. And uh, the leadership of uh, IPOB in general. Um, I want to say that uh, you are a vessel of God. Um, you make yourself available for this job, and uh, you have a very, very strong covenant with God, and we know that. And that is why whatever you, you see, it comes to pass. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you, but your line oh, is breaking. Character. Your line is breaking up. Unfortunately, your line is breaking up. It keeps breaking. We have another caller on the line. This very caller, can you hear me? This caller, can you hear me on the line? You're waiting on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Good evening. I'm calling from California. No, not you. Not you. Hold on. Stay where you are. You're calling from where? California, USA. California, USA. Thank you very much. Please. Yes. Are you part of those that said they should kill us? And after we get Biafra, after and then you come back home? Are you one of them? No, I'm not one of them. I'm I'm working my I'm working the little I can do here. I'm working I'm using my Facebook to work and uh, working try anything you are doing and sharing to the people to listen. I keep working for the Biafra. Make sure that whenever you're online, I share it on my Facebook for people to watch and listen. And I watch, I follow you all the way. Are you part of the family in California? We have IPAB uh, very strong in California. Are you part of them? Yes. Good. Go ahead. No, so, so what I want you to, I, I just sent a, a clip for you in your in your WhatsApp. I, I share tears uh, when I listen to our so-called elderly. When you are shouting the other day, people were saying what kind of what kind of man are you? But when I listen to before this, uh, before Jubri come to the second time, the money they gave to the so-called elders, and they started singing, "I can shower." Hey, Buare Gashi. That's what the elderly sing. I send it to you now. Maybe when you listen to it, then I can post it to your world. I share tears. So I say, this is how this guy sold us to these people. This is how they sold us to the Fulanis. But I thank God that today we are every one of us because when you are saying when whenever you keep when you are talking before we don't understand it. But now our eyes have opened that truly that our problem is not even the Fulanese. Our problem is our elder, elder, elderly. But I am I'm, I'm so happy too that you said that a lot of people has this, uh, called you to tell you that you should take it easy with them. Let, uh, I'm, I'm sure it is good. Let us give them a repentant heart, a repentant time to repent before Biafra come, or else whatever they will see, they will take. I want to thank you because I'm, um, I, uh, my, my village is from Olu Obibio uh, Chasse, and I'm, I was so happy that IPOB went there on Saturday, and they were sharing the flyers to our people over there. I even see my village. I thank God for that. I can see that the uh, IPOB is has dominated everywhere. We are everywhere. I call, my people in the, everywhere. Yeah, I call my people in the east and they told me that yes, this is, is uh, in fact, they don't know anything about Nigeria. Now, what they know is about IPOB when is Biafra coming to stay. And uh, I believe with the strength that you are going and with the uh, with the news and with the, everything that the international, with the co work of, with the hand of the international community and with by special grace of God, with the, uh, to, uh, with the, uh, 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 Trump re-election re re again, I believe that before the end of this year, we'll get Biafra. And I, ha I, I have that belief because it's getting hot every day. And I can see that even the universe are waking up. And now, we know that with you, 
and with you as you are shouting because now, they are not following your footsteps that truly this is not a country. I follow some of them in the, in the media. I see that they too they are waking up because of what we have been preaching over the years. Man, I have to thank you and I pray that God Almighty, the Chukwu Kikaba that has been keeping you, will make you to see. Because when I look at what happened to you over the years, I see tears, but I believe that Chukwu Kikaba will keep you and make you to see Biafra so that your parents will rejoice in wherever they are when they, as they leave this world because of this struggle. Yes, and I pray that Chukwu Kikaba will continue to bless and continue to keep you and continue to strengthen you not to lose hope and not to give up against the, the sabotage. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, my dear brother from California in the USA. I don't know how people can say they have elders and the elders are conniving with outsiders to have their children killed. The caller has been on the line for a very long time from the UK. Number ending 579. Please give us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, Mercy, good morning. Uh, my name is Ujul. I'm calling from the UK, um, but I'm from, from Umobia in, in um, Abia State, Umaya. Thank um, you. I have, I don't really have a question, but I have two simple but unorthodox requests. Um, the first one is, I, I want you to really trust me. That's the first request. Second because you 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 sound like a Yibo, so we're a bit worried. Or the government. <laughs> You sound white, oh? Oh, very. Ah, uh, uh, now I'm, I'm better now because you're sounding a bit, oh, you both. There, I was panicking. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. We are listening. Well, I was, yeah. Can Can you move about a bit? Your Your line is breaking. Your line was breaking. Please repeat everything you've said. Your line was breaking. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yeah, it's better now. Go ahead. Okay. So I, I don't really have a question, but I have two uh, simple but unorthodox requests. Um, the, the first one is I, I want you to trust me. That's the first one. Secondly, um, I want you to call me after you finish your broadcast. I mean, I know you're a busy guy and I'm not really anybody, but I really want you to call me. Um, there's something I want to share with you about our mothers. And when I say our mothers, I mean your mother and my mother. And I don't want to talk about it on air. So if you can, could you please, after, when you have a moment, can you come back to me? I'll do so. And where are you from again? Um, Umobia, you said? Yes, Umobia. Umobia. In um, Ishikot, is that correct? Yes. After ceramics? Yes, exactly. Okay. I've been I've been wondering, Omoabia people, are you people part of the Ibegi family, which is old Omoaha, or are you part of Amakama in Olokoro, or are you part of Afara? Which one are you? Well, that's a bit too specific for me because I was born and kind of bred here in the UK, so I don't really know, so I can't really answer that. Okay, no worries, no worries. I'll, I'll call after the program. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Bye. Bye. The uh, we have another hey, call, call, can call. There is somebody else on on the um, I'm trying to pick a call on Skype, they are no longer there. Give, give me their, their, their Skype or, or WhatsApp. If they can't come to us, we'll go to them. Huh? I, I, I let us have this gossip out in the open. There's no need. Stop complaining. Come out to bring everything you have to say. The world we want to hear. Let us make it open, as they would say in the village. Let's make it open. There's no need uh, uh, grumbling and, and hiding somewhere and talking rubbish. Come out in the open. If they can't come to us, we go to them. Give us their Skype name or number and we shall look for them. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? He is near his system. Yes, please move away from your system. Move away from your system. He's not paying attention. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I can hear you, my director. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from, if you may. My name is Choko Machine Du Henry. I am calling from Benin Republic. Benin Republic. Precisely. Thank you. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Sir, I want to thank you for the wonderful work you are doing for the Biafra. 
all over the world. Thank God you. bless you, sir. And you too. I, I, I saw a video yesterday. You know, when you are telling people that uh, in their world is saboteur, people keep doubting it. I saw a video yesterday when he said that if any Igbo person touch a uh, house of land, that means you, you will first kill him. Then I want to bring it to the word notice that he openly said that he's a saboteur. So why is on my wall? Anybody who is in doubt should go to my wall. But as I said earlier, I have listened to some wise counsel from some people, um, Senator Baribe being one of them, to say we should leave him alone. And I've listened, and uh, uh, nobody should stone him if you see him. Leave him, and let's give him some months to see if he'll repent. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Keep, keep doing your good work. We are, we, are, we are praying for you. No matter what the zoo is doing, all their efforts will be in vain. You say? God bless you, sir. You say? We will keep, keep, keep posting that very close so that the world will may, the world may know the truth. Thank you very much. Anybody who is in doubt should go to my wall. At Mazenam the Kano, I think I now have slightly over 300,000 followers. Or maybe, uh, no, no, 450,000 followers. And 300 likes or thereabout. I don't know the one that Facebook is showing. You know, they're very evil. Um, I mean Facebook, uh, that is. I want you to go there and share that very post as widely as possible. We don't hate anybody. We just want them to repent from their sinful sad ways if you know you are a sabo you cannot help yourself go and do a dna test go back to your father maybe in katsina or you sokoto you are not one of us your name may be ketuku your name may be fanny Chuku. you may even answer choma or children man you are not one of us go back to power go back to the north where you come from that is where your people are stop using our names to try to deceive us i need the contact of zoo people let them come and debate us live i'm not going to cut you off i will once you announce your name you will stay with me and rather than yapping your lives away somewhere we will actually have a slightly proper debate can have a debate i have another caller on the line can you hear me and please move away from your listening device if you may Hello, my leader. Good morning. I'm calling from Ghana. Good morning. And what is your name, please? Atambo Abai, 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 Ojo. Thank you very much. Abai, thank you very much. Please go ahead. I, yes. Uh, I, uh, we are, we are the grandson of Biafra because I can remember very well after the war when we came to this world, our grand, my Grandfather, wives, three wives always talk about Biafra. One. Then I grow in that country called Zoo. That Zoo tried to kill me because of Biafra. They made, I, I know what I passed through. This is a reality. If, if you can remember three years ago, you came down to Abia State. One million man, I was there. I was Rasta. I, I know how it is. From that moment, the zoo are monitoring us until last year I was captured when I came to visit my parents. I know what I passed through. They nearly killed me. They put me in jail where I met 15 dear friends. They are about to die. They are on chance. All these things. Where, are, where I, was I, this? I went to public where, where did this happen? Where did this happen? This, this happened in Abia State. Otisioma, Otisioma, they got me from bank. From bank, from bank to their to their hideout, they don't know in that that is our land, and they they, they reach there. I told them here is our place, so you can't kill me in my place. So people's eyes was there. From there, they took me back to another place. I don't know. That is where I met those evil people. They thought those people would arm me, but I am a, I'm a fearless man. I don't fear anybody because I know the Chukwokika Biama is behind me. After them. I, I, I was, I was, uh, what is this speaker of Abia State? Speaker of Abia State, uh, Ilikuku, or what they call that guy. He's the one that I see he made a call before they release us. Because two Enimba players was involved. 
Those two players are now on bench. They can't play ball again. Was, did you commit any crime? Did you commit any crime? I did you? not commit any crime. I did not have any razor blade. I did not have any contraband. I went to my lawyer. My lawyer did not do anything. I went to my soldiers. All the soldiers I know, institutions, they say they cannot help. I went to Lagos. Lagos tell me, <laughs> this is uh, terrible. They broke me. It's only Ghana Union I belong to. I went to complain to. And they treat me. Nigeria is falling down. That is what I know. And what I want to tell my people is that if anybody is thinking that uh, this blah, 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 the government is doing, we save them, they are joking. The best thing we have to do now, let us declare something that we are going to come out. And another problem that we have is my senior brothers. The problem we have, these rich senior brothers we have that own houses, they are thinking about material things and they left our life going down every day we are suffering we are not that we can't do it we can do it but after all this pain they could you imagine that this is due i went to abuja public commission and make complaint they want to send me back to the zoo to the place they harm me that is where they are sending me back again so that they can kill me then i left the country as I'm, as I'm talking to you now, my leader, I am very, very happy that I speak with you direct because I've tried any way to complain to uh, somebody who can feel my pain. But I know what I passed through. I can identify this face to face to any place in this universe because I don't know why life will be like this. If it is like that, if we cannot get Biafra, then everybody in Nigeria will be burned down. I said this, and so shall it be. Biafra must come this year, or we stop this suffering. I'm a father of people. I know what I've passed through. This thing, I'm telling you, these soldiers are still there. They are full of these men. They told me face to face, they are killing their brothers in Boko Haram. That company was written, written uh, Charlie and Company. Me, I'm a special agent. I monitor Otisioma, that place they used to push fuels around that Abia State to Portacot. Before it was Charlie and company, do you know that when they arrest, then they, when they kidnapped me, that place was written in Arabic, in our own state. In the Arabic? It's is written in Arabic. Oh my goodness. In Arabic, I swear to Almighty Jiko Kikabiyama, my leader. I, I captured that one very well. I said, why? What is going on? Because three years I got where, where was this? Where was this? Where did, where did you see this Arabic sign? Where? This is in that Osisioma Joshua, that place they claim they are building a uh, roundabout. That, uh, they call it 149 Battalion now. Because I complain about that in our radio station. Maybe that is the reason they, 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 they threat me. One. I come, so I, all they I can do is that they, they, are building, they are building army barracks and police stations and checkpoints. It, to, to Islamize yes. us, to take over our land. In our schools, in our schools, in our schools, they are building Ami Barak. They bring in Osan, oh my God, I saw a lot there. I captured, I detected a lot. But what I'm trying to say, my leader, please, please, these our brothers that own properties in a foreign land, in their Fulani land, all shares, that is our problem. Because last time I was telling my brother in abroad that this is, what is going on? Very, very, very sad indeed. And we are going to do something about it. I believe there is a caller on the line. Can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? How are you? I'm very well, thank you, please. Go ahead. My name is Tochuku Okoye. I live here in the United Kingdom. I'm from Okulu, Dunukofia local government. My question this morning is really about the strategy. Yes of this struggle yes what is your strategy because most of the things that we have been hearing for some time now is barely white noise if i have to be totally honest with you please be be honest the the, the honesty is that <clears throat> there is no strategy here there is no roadmap here mm. yes our people are suffering our people are suffering a great deal. Yeah. However, but there is no cohesive strategy in terms of how to move this fight forward. So I want you to speak to that right now in regards to what are you doing in terms of strategy and roadmap, please. Um, 
Thank you very much for that. Your question is very clear. You said what we are making is white noise, you said. Is that correct? That's right, yes. Why is it noise to you? Why why is it noise? Do you, do you, you don't have to talk about... Uh, let's follow this logically. I'm going to answer your questions. But for the benefit of our listeners, I... What makes it white no white noise? Just explain to me so I understand. Because there is there is there is so many so many so many so many things coming out. Mm -hmm. the, the, it, 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 I don't know if if you ever studied um, physical science. What noise is that noise mm -hmm. when you turn on radio mm -hmm. that goes shh? Yes. And that's what to me feels like coming out at the moment from all this from this struggle no, I, I don't understand you you call it white noise that is are you saying that people are not getting the message we are passing or what are they not listening are people not joining are you haven't you been sort of um how can i put it hasn't your level of enlightenment been increased as a result of listening to radio biafra perhaps or the activities of ipob there is information that that repeats itself with regards to what the IPOB are doing. Good. There is a lot of repetition. I can understand the effective, the effective now, logic. Now, now, I want, us I, to, I want us to follow these things. Give me an example of repetition or the white noise in your, in your understanding. What? Just be very tangible. Tell me that thing that we have done repeatedly that you feel. By white noise, I believe you're saying there are some things we are doing that is not yielding the desired result. Is that correct? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What yeah. I'm saying is, there is a lot of words. There is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cursing. For example, there's a lot, a lot of um, um, recrimination. For example. Okay, there's so of, um, for you, the white of, noise is the cursing of, um, and the recrimination. I want to get this right because I want us to to learn from each other. Recrimination yeah. and cursing. So because yeah. I want you, you said when you said. A lot of white noise. I want to be able to drill it down so we understand it and maybe cut it out. That's what I'm trying okay. to do here. So by okay. white noise, you, you said something about strategy. So you're not yeah. aware of our strategy or our, what we are doing. Are, are you aware of the of the impending um, um, special envoy uh, to to the zoo, Nigeria? Are you aware of that? Special envoy from. From, from the, the campaign from, for special envoy for Trump to send a special envoy that the senators have been talking about. Are you aware of that? I'm aware of that, yes. You are aware of it? Yes. Which would you think made that possible? I believe it's the LNC. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> That's what you should have said, that you're calling from LNC. That's very good. No, so, no, 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 no. I'm not calling from LNC. Now, now I, I, want to, I want to ask you a question. How, what led you to believe that it was the LNC that did it? How, because mm -hmm. from your own presentations yeah. over time, mm -hmm. there is not much strategy coming. No, I, no I asked it. No, we, we'll come to that. We'll come to that later on. I'm asking you now again. I asked okay. you who made that possible, this very clamor for for special envoy. I asked you who made that possible. And you said it's LNC, and I'm asking you how. By LNC, you mean the lower Niger Congress people? That's right. And they made it possible how? I'm asking you a simple question. How? Because of the work, because of what I, I gathered from what, the work they have been done, they have, they, they've done in the past, and what they are And doing what is that they did in the past? Involved. What is that they did? Give us an example. Um, Mr. Tony Nadi, according to according to what I've seen, has mm. been to Washington, for example, to speak to a panel of of of, of senators there oh, with regards to this this element, with regards to and for example the religious persecutions in Nigeria. Do you know that we have our people in the USA? Are you aware of IPOB in the US? Are you aware of that? I'm aware of that, yes. Did you see me when I went to America? I saw I saw Did you listen to my interview on Voice of America? I saw it, yes. Have you seen my submission to the State Department and to White House? I have not seen your submission, no. Okay, I will, I, will, I will try and send that to you also. 
Are you aware that our coordinators across the states in America are engaging their senators and the politicians over this very matter on a consistent basis? Do you know how far we have gone? That is what you're not, you're not telling me. I can't me. tell you because if I tell you, people will subvert it. There are things we are doing that we cannot tell people. For example, a presentation mm. that, that has no falsehood in it. How can somebody <clears throat> subvert a, a presentation which can easily be corroborated with the senators or with, and, with and then, that, uh, that corroboration was done? Then I will explain, I will explain that to you that again. If you allow me, I will explain that to you. You okay. started by saying all you hear is white noise and lack of strategy. And yes. I've just explained to you now, I asked you, you're basing what you're telling me on what somebody said. And I will ask you yeah, again, really I, no, 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 your own research. And I'm asking you, can you please make available to us LNC submission to any arm of government in the USA? Can you do that for me? I can do that. I can, I can, I can do that, yes. Absolutely. I, can do I would like you to please make that available. And, okay. and le let me ask you another question. Okay. Are you aware that we have people working for us on Capitol Hill? Are you aware of that? No, I'm not aware of that. Are you aware that IPOB spends over 100000 every blessed month on this very quest to have our case heard and listened to all over the world by a very important government? Are you aware of that? You have, you have said so. No, 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 I have said so. Are you aware? Of the I fact know. that even you the zoo, I'm, I'm coming. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you aware that when the new U.S. ambassador to Nigeria took her position, are you aware that she tried, she went to Asarok to present her papers? Are you aware of that? Of course. Yeah, are you also aware? Do hang do on. Do hang, do that. hang on. Are you are you also aware that during the exchange between her and whoever they claim? was um buhari that the mask wearer on that very occasion complained about ipob and what we are doing are you aware of that of course yes he has to complain now now i'm coming now if the if the so-called president of the zoo complained to the u.s ambassador about ipob what does that tell you it tells me that IPOB, mm. I'm not saying that you're not having... No, 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 I, I, I ask you a question. You know, I'll ask you having, again. Um, you if the president of a country, some, hang on, kind of, I'll, ask I'll ask you again. I'll ask you again. You answer me. Feedback. However, mm. my question is... About You've not answered my question. The, the strategy moving forward. No, you have not answered my question. I said to you again, are yeah. you aware yes. that... The, the, do you know the significance and the importance do you think that Nigeria as a country will come out to say that IPOB is giving us problems if we weren't giving them problems? Of course, you're giving them problems. I mean, there's a lot of groups that give Nigeria a problem. Uh, I know. Like Why did they mention IPOB then? The Out of all the problems, I'm, I'm coming. Why did they mention IPOB? Are you saying we're a terrorist organization? Is IPOB a terrorist organization? No, no, no. no. IPOB is far from being a terrorist, a terrorist organization. But I'm saying that now. The, 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 the effect uh -huh. you, you're having yeah. is obvious because yeah. there is a lot. So it is not white noise okay. anymore. So this white noise is, is um, having an effect? This white noise you, you mentioned? What is behind it? That's what uh -huh. I'm Now let me tell you what is behind it. Let me tell you what is behind, behind, it. What is behind it. Where we are going. Are, are you going to allow me to explain what is behind it? So you can follow it logically. Get a pen and a piece of paper so I can explain it to you. Um, I'm now, so, thank you very much. Now, follow this very carefully. We studied what, why we failed between 67 and 70. We understood that the first reason why we failed was lack of media. The narrative was being controlled by the Yoruba people that hated us very much. That's number one. Okay. Media, lack of media space or denial okay. of media coverage. That's number one. We also okay. discovered that, number two, that Britain was doing a lot of the lobbying work for Nigeria. Okay. Ujuku had no chance. So we knew that lobbying and international consultancy was key. We needed to engage international lobbying firms. Very expensive, I must say, to do this very work for us. Lobbying is number two. We also okay. knew that every leader who's ever come 
after the war, they always compromised. So we needed to build a movement that is uncompromisable. That is why IPOB is the way that it is. So we cannot be bought, we cannot be compromised. Number four, we also realized that it's something called lack of consistency. We needed to build IPOB with the requisite intellectual capacity to be so durable that nothing can shift us from where we are. And five, there was no accountability. Today we are holding the so-called elders accountable. And number six, you are talking about strategy. We have also published what I call a rudimentary principles and policies that will guide Biafra. We need to educate our people and that is what we are doing right now, even as we're having this conversation. And number six is to put so much heat and pressure on the zoo that they will have no choice than to ask us to go. There are many things we are doing we cannot tell you because we are not as rich. We are competing against a budget of nearly 30 billion US dollars. Nigeria can buy off anybody they want to buy at any time. I'll give you a very simple example. You claim that uh, people, these glory hunters, I call them, they were in America, but they were not in any major news network in America. I was in the United States of America. What we are doing, we are carried by Washington Times. I went to VOA to go and speak. The next day I wanted to go back to VOA, they said, no, I should just speak Hausa language, or I should bring a full animal when coming. None of these things from those that want to steal from where they never sold anything will not tell you this. So our strategy is a very simple one. Do, today, don't we have a media? In IPOB, Radio Biafra, Biafra Television, don't we have one? Today, is our news being heard all over the world or not? That was something that Ojupu during his time was not able to do because of the suddenness of the war. Today, the same people that told Owasrike many, many years ago to engage consultants in Washington, instead he went and bought a house in the USA. They are the same people that we are working with today to make sure that IPOB Biafra is everywhere in America. We have the very formidable IPOB family in the United States of America engaging their politicians on a daily basis because every politics is local. If you don't have people talking to the senators and the House of Reps, you are lying and you're wasting your time. LNC doesn't have such presence in the USA. They can never have it. We are the ones doing it for your information. And in terms of building a movement that you cannot compromise, that is what we have done. We've been offered everything. We're not fighting for a new Nigeria. You people are fighting for a new Nigeria. Your LNC is part of new Nigeria movement. We are Please not fighting. No, you. I'm. I'm stop saying you because I'm not a. Part oh, sorry. Of I'm, I do apologize. I accept my apologies. LNC is fighting for new, according to their own literature and documentation. They are fighting for a new Nigeria. We are fighting for Biafra. So there is a very marked difference. I acknowledge what the the silent slaughter in Nigeria is doing. It is not LNC, the silent slaughter in Nigeria, which is a pastor in the USA. It is not him. So I don't like these lies when people come, maybe out of um, um, envy or jealousy, they begin to lie against people. I was, in, I was in D.C., moving from office to office, from House of Reps building to Senate, every blessed day for two weeks. I did it two times. I met senators and we discussed. And sometimes in international diplomacy and politics, there are some things that you're told in confidence. You are not allowed to divulge in public. Or else, when you go back again, they will not trust you with very sensitive information. So sometimes, people want us to say things that we are doing, but we prefer our actions to speak rather than our words. It was also the same presidency, not once, not twice, not three times, that came out and published that it is IPOB that is making their life a misery all over the world. And it is IPOB that is pressing for the special envoy to be appointed. And I want to make this also very clear to you as well. We have a roadmap. It is very simple. And I've said it from the beginning. We educate our people. We consult extensively all over the world. And we are going to have a referendum. And Biafra will be declared. It's a very simple process. It's been there from day one. 
So when people talk about roadmap, we are the only ones that said define the boundaries of Biafra. And we have defined it in a very simple crude form that no one can actually fault. Wherever you see anybody trying to piece of rapper, our mothers, is our land. Nobody can fault that. Nobody can dispute that. Yet they say there is no cohesion. There is no strategy. Yet the zoo is crumbling every day. When we talk about Jubril or before he ran away, when we talk about Asoro being empty, you don't see that as being a strategy, as collapsing the zoo from within. So I don't know if the strategy people are talking about is for us to go and carry guns then they will know there is a strategy. So I, I'm still at a loss to understand why somebody who is answering Nigeria, new Nigeria movement, can claim anything that has to do with Biafra when there is no single documentation submitted anywhere by these people that you're talking about, by, by this individual you're talking about that contains the word Biafra in it. None whatsoever. So I don't know how people can be taken in by blatant lies and misinformation. If there is any single document, please, I'm waiting for you to publish it. And I'm prepared to read it from well, top. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying, what I'm, with regards to, with regards to that, do you think we as Igbos should be going this alone? Aren't we supposed to take those around us with us so Thank that you. what happens in the what happened in the war wouldn't happen again? Do you want me to tell you how many people? I said there are not. It's not many things that we divulge in the public. Our DOS contains almost every ethnic nationality in Biafra land and we're expanding it every blessed day you have been if you go online you will see it we are inaugurating new family units across Bielsa on a daily basis a group here is there doing a very fantastic job we are in Cross River you know go that are begging us to come you heard you before you rang my dear brother you heard somebody call from Asian saying we are Biafran you heard somebody call from a gala saying we are Biafran how can anybody fault such a strategy now I'm ask, I, I, I keep asking you this question I keep asking them all the time are you asking me to bear a name that has no resemblance to who I am by the name you answer, I will be able to know who you are. People from across Biafra land are identifying all the way to Bini, all the way to Bini, and people are still coming out and asking again, take everybody along with you. When you hear them speak, you heard them speak this morning, how can you say they're not with us? Of course they are. You know, what people say and what they do are totally different things. You, by experience, you should know that that people will come online and say different things, but however, when the when the book comes to sales, they will not do anything. They they will then become malleable, for example. So that that, that but I'm looking to see what you know what documentation is there, what agreement is there with regards to these ethnic um, ethnic kingdoms that we are supposed to be working with. We are, we are, do, let me tell you something. We, I don't want to make, as I told you before, the reason why sometimes we are circumspect about how we approach these issues are these. We know how intimidating and how frustrating the zoo can be. If you announce somebody who is doing something for you, say for instance in Ekoi or in Ejagam or in Efik or in Oron, the next day, the local DSS will pay them a visit. You understand that very well. So there is not a lot of, lot, some of the things that we do is not in the public domain. But if you go to those villages and those towns, you will understand. That is why when we call for a sit at home, people sit at home. When we call for a national strike, people will listen to us, they obey. Because they are IPOB all over the place. They are Biafrans and they identify. There is no need or should I say, when the time comes, you will see documentation. But that, that time is not ripe yet. Our enemies want us to show them our hand so they can go behind and sabotage our efforts. There are people going behind our backs, gossiping the same way they have lied to you and gossiped to you. And I've asked you people this thing before. This LNC that you mentioned, have they held any national convention before? Where are they? Who are their members? How can you have a movement that has no membership? Only one person is the secretary general, is the president, is the vice, is the treasurer, is everything. One human being, supported by the zoo, given money by those that I know in Lagos. Do you understand me? How can I, I'm now asking you this simple question. You are in the UK or in America, where are you? I'm in the United Kingdom. 
Is there any LNC in the United Kingdom? No, there is none. Is there IPOB in the UK? Yes, there is. Uh, is there IPOB. IPOB in Germany? I believe so, yeah. Is there IPOB in Hong Kong? I believe so. Is there IPOB, there IPOB is. in Indonesia? There are. Is there IPOB there in Australia? I believe so, yes. Is there IPOB in South Africa? I believe so. IPOB in Canada? Yes. IPOB in Brazil? Yes. IPOB in Venezuela? Yes. IPOB in Ecuador? Yes. IPOB in USA? There are, there you are, see, yes. my dear brother, if our strategies are not working, we will not be all over the world. We are a monster. IPOB is a monster. And we swallow our enemies and the zoo is crying. We welcome every view and every opinion. As long as you do not make them with malice or with jealousy, we would listen to you. Biafra land belongs to everybody from Igala all the way to Obobo, to Izong. I don't need to beg anybody to be part of their own family. I speak it to you. I don't beg you. I will tell you the truth. That is why sometimes you come across, as you said, as cursing and unreconciliatory or sometimes abusive because our people don't listen to reason and common sense unless it affects them. We do what we do out of love and affection, not out of malice. We want Biafra to come for the benefit and the enjoyment of everybody, not just for the few. Now you understand me? Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, you. Thank you very okay. much. And remember blessed, my dear brother. Thank you very much for calling. I enjoyed your call, by the way. Thank you very much. I remember blessed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sometimes it is good to educate our people. There. Our people are very good. Forget all the lies they tell them. Our people are very, very good. They are very good. Once you educate them, they understand. They see the truth. That is why Biafra will stand, because Biafrans are truthful people. They don't believe in lies. We are truthful people. I have a caller once again. I want people like that. Our brother that just called from the UK. We want people like that, doubting Thomas's, to come forward. The caller, can you hear me? He's not listening. He is not paying attention. I have to cut you off. We have come very close to the end of our program today. We have come very very close our people sometimes i'm not upset with people like that he is speaking how he understands but when you explain to them they always understand you know uh, the caller on skype can you hear me yeah i can hear you my name is uh, Dr. Konko from uh, imo states and where are you calling from i'm calling from indonesia thank you very much please go ahead yeah, I really appreciate the great work we are doing. I just have a, a, a contribution or something to say, but before then, I want to ask one question. Go ahead. During the Biafra uh, existence, uh, during that year, did we have Biafra passports? Yes, we did. Okay. Okay, this is what I actually want to know. We did. And I also want to... Uh, if some people use that passport, were, were people able to use it to travel then? Yes, of course, people traveled with it. Because um, Chief Justice P.K. Mokhead, that we that Ojuku sent to Bulgaria to go and look for help, and, and all Biafran diplomats, they traveled on Biafran passport. We had diplomats during the okay, war. Because... We had diplomats. As Biafrans, we had nations that recognized Biafra, like Tanzania, like Gabon, and um, and the Sierra Leone as well, under uh, President Hufford Burney. So we had people that recognized us. You cannot travel as a diplomat with the passport of, of Zoo, Nigeria, and then you go there, you claim you're a Biafran. doesn't make any sense at all. At all. We had our passports and we traveled with it then. Okay, this is what I want to actually confirm because if Biafra should come, we need more people to be able to travel with the passport so that other countries can testify with, uh, with Biafra. Because by so doing, even to have the Biafra stamp, whosoever that is living Biafra border should have that stamp that 
is is time the person out of Biafra. Even if you're in Nigeria before Biafra came, if you are moving out of Nigeria, you go by having that stamp on Biafra on your passport. If there is a white foreigner before they go back to that country, they should have the Biafra stamp. It's Biafra. It's Everything is Biafra. And remember that when Biafra comes, all of you outside, you're going to bring back your children. All those children you gave birth to outside. Biafra is going to be like a rainbow nation, a true rainbow nation. We have children in Japan, we have children in Indonesia, we have children from Malaysians, we have children from China, we have some from Russia. Our children are from even South Africa, from Brazil, from Ghana, from everywhere. You bring them back and Biafra will be a truly colorful, colorful rainbow nation and we welcome all of them with open arms. We welcome them with open arms because blood is always thicker than water. We have a caller on Skype. Can you hear me? The caller on Skype. Can you hear me? For the last time, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Am I coming out clear? Yes, you are. Your name and where you're calling from. Please proceed. Yeah, my name is Chimo Bimba and I'm calling from uh, about to be precise in Biafra land. Thank you. Please go ahead. We're listening. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, my leader. I'm not really in the habit of calling online as an IPOB member because I sometimes, when I have some questions, I follow the procedures by asking the nearest coordinator. But, but I have been wondering since uh, this movement started, I have not really seen the students coming out to do what they are needed to do, coming out to do the necessary things. So I wonder what plans are on ground to inculcate students into this movement because I know for a very short thing that when students, when I mean students, I mean university students, very vibrant and young, get into this movement with speech or full force, who we'll have somewhere to go. So that's just why I said that should call this morning. And I, I welcome your call. Thank you very, very much for that because we need our students to be up and doing. Our student leader was arrested at Togo Polytechnic and we made representations and he was released. We need our students to be at the forefront. Our mothers have come out. That is why Biafra is unstoppable. People are going about one-man band. There's something called Akola in those days. A madman with a file. With one tattered, battered, or you know that office flat file? With Byron. Going about talking pure rubbish. You ask them, but where are your submissions to the U.S. government? No, no. When we submitted documents to the USA, it was captured by a leading newspaper, Washington Times. Everything we do is out in the open. When I'm in the USA, it is out in the open. I hold town hall meetings. We went to UN that nobody has ever been to, in Geneva. And a few other places I cannot mention because work is ongoing. That is why the zoo is feeling the heat. That is why the zoo is crumbling. They don't understand our strategy. All this, um, uh, uh, and not about our, our dear brother that I just called, uh, baby saboteurs, talking rubbish. Do you know how intelligent their friends are? Do you think that anybody, do you think people can be mobile? Do you know who we are? As stubborn, as recalcitrant, as immovable as we are, to establish IPOB all over the world is by the grace of God, not by man. You think our people will follow you if you're not making sense? Our people as, as intelligent as they are, you think they'll be following you? Our people, as somebody told me once, our people don't follow human beings, they don't. That is why if you come in your village and you're walking, they may say, oh, day, oh, how are you, sir? You've come back. The only thing that can work out now, both children and adults who follow, is a masquerade. Ask yourself, why? Why is it that when they see masquerade, a child will abandon everything he or she is doing to follow that masquerade? Adults will also acknowledge. Because our people, we don't believe in worshipping human beings. We don't, we, we, we revere that thing we cannot see. So for IPOB to be in over 100 countries and places around the world, tells you we are doing something right. Our enemies want you to believe otherwise. Even they themselves, they know they don't have the clout to do anything. Only IPOB does, and they know it. And maybe behind our back, there are even IPOB family members. Who know. Maybe when the day comes now, they will 
Tell you, see, we have been in IPOB all around. The caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? The caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? For the last time. Somebody called and they're not saying anything. What a shame. What a very big shame. The caller on the line, can you hear me? No. This man keeps calling. He doesn't even listen. He just calls and calls and calls. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Nah, I can hear you properly. Please, your name and where you're calling from? My, my name is Chidever. I'm calling from Doha. From yeah. Doha. Yeah. Is there IPOB family in Doha? Yeah, they have, but I'm not yet there now. The, I am waiting. Even in Doha, we are there. Yeah. IPOB is in Lebanon. IPOB is in... Oh, these people, they don't know how big we are. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. So, there is something I want to ask you, or uh, what I want to ask you. The, the issue of uh, this IPOB, there is something they normally do, which I think I should ask a question about. Yeah. Go ahead. You, whenever, you, whenever you said something, you go extremely mild to prove it, to give fast and figure. But some of our IPOB, there is something they normally do. When someone online chatting with them, they keep talking and insulting the person with their proofs, like you normally do. Because why I'm saying this, I have tried this so many times and it worked for me. Whenever I'm discussing with people about Nigeria and the IPOB, the way things are going, and Nigeria need to be divided, so they disagree with me, but when I when I present those facts and figures about them, give them the reasons why Nigeria should be dis they should be divided. At the end of every conversation, they come back to agree with me that oh Nigerians Nigerians need to be divided. Even Yoruba people, like last week, I have a conversation with a Yoruba man. At the end of everything, even he went ahead to to give uh, an example with India that Indians as population as 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 as, as, the, as their population are. Meaning mm -hmm. that, uh, mm -hmm. that they are not even talking about dividing their country. I said, no, in them we are once together with some other countries. Later, those countries get their independence and be on their own. So at the end of the conversation, he agreed with me. But some of our IPO members, especially those on Facebook, they fail to do some of all those things. Rather, they keep insulting people without giving them the reason why they should join IPO, the reason why they should fight for their freedom, the reason why they should divide Nigeria. So I want to ask you, what can you say about those people? No, I don't. I want our people, when you have lost five million of your people, your mothers, your fathers, your siblings, and on top of that, people are coming again to kill you, you must forgive us if we insult you. Because we don't have time to start massaging issues. We don't, of course, it is my job and the duty of the officers of state to explain. But some people don't have that because they expect you to know. If you don't know, then you're a fool. I used to have that type of mindset. If people are full and in your village killing people and you want me to come to bring bread and the sardine and the tomatoes to you before you listen to something that will make you to be alive. So you can, you, at least you can understand our frustration when sometimes we find it very difficult to comprehend why certain individuals don't do that which is right. But I, I accept what you're saying anyway. We must explain. We must explain. And we must explain to people. Very, very critical and very, very important. And I thank you very much. And And you must join the family there. I have somebody on the line. They've been trying to call. I call them back, yes. Um, Lawrence, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Please give us your name once again and where you are speaking from. Oh, well, my name is Lawrence and I'm calling from El Paso, Texas. Thank you very much. And why have you decided to call this very morning? Are you, are you from, are you a Nigerian? Who are you? Please explain to us. Oh, well, I'm actually black American. I DNA tested about two years ago and I found out I was of Igbo descent. So 
that's my story. You did a DNA test and you found out that you're from Igbo land. You are from Igbo descent, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you are not a Nigerian that emigrated to yes. America. Your parents did not emigrate to America. You're a black, you're an African American, is that correct? Yes, sir. We've been here since 1816. 1816. Your yes, ancestors left the Holy Land of Biafra to, to, to yes, as sir. captives to America and, and you DNA tested and you found out yes, that sir. you are evil. And I say, yes, may God Almighty in heaven to Kukika Biama that your ancestors worshipped and which you shall worship one day, guide, protect and keep you. Please go ahead. What do you want to say? Go ahead. So my question is, um, a couple, I, I believe a couple of radio messages ago, I heard you say that uh, the reason why black Americans aren't treated with respect in the whole George Floyd thing was because we don't have a country in Africa to be proud of, to look up to. Absolutely. And it really stuck with me. You stuck with me. Because it's the truth. So my question is, what can black Americans of people to say? Because I'm not the only one. There's many of us who are actually becoming awake by the fact that we have a lineage in Africa. What can we do to help our people get the Afro? What, what we are contribute? what we are going to do to help us get there? I'm going to put you in touch with our people, your flesh and blood, your own brothers and your own sisters, so that you can become a face and rally those of them. Of Biafran descent, Igbo, Efi, Ibibio, Izon, that we are taking to USA. I cannot wait for Biafra to come because of people like you. I want every black American, Igbo descent, to come back to Biafra and to stay. There is enough land for everybody. We will build tall buildings, we will build skyscrapers. So it will accommodate everybody so that all the killings and the humiliations will stop in America. As soon as Biafra comes, you will see that the humiliation will stop. You don't see them killing South Koreans or Koreans, as a matter of fact. They no longer kill Chinese people. Nobody kills Japanese people. Nobody kills Singaporeans. Nobody even kills uh, Malaysians. It's only Africans they are killing because there is no Biafra. As soon as Biafra comes, all of you are coming back home. But before then, you have a lot of work to do. And the likes of, um, we know them, um, Blair Underwood, all these major players in beat in Hollywood or in American sports or even in politics, they must be made to understand by people like you that home is Biafra, not Louisiana. Home is not Texas. Home is Biafra. That is where all of you belong. Mistakenly, some of them have been running to Ghana. Ghana is not the solution. The solution is Biafra. And that Biafra is coming. I have noted your number down. I will give it to our people in the USA. They will contact you. You have a lot of work to do. And when next I'm there, I will endeavor to see you as well. Please remain blessed and stay safe. You Thank you very much. You too, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. When I say that the, he's been calling and calling and calling, I saw the number and I said, let me try and get back to this very person. And all of a sudden, he's one of us. He did DNA test. That is why all of you are going to be baby sabotua. There will be compulsory DNA test. Oh. Start now to look for your father in Ubuzo. Start now to look for your father as in Funtua. Start now to go back to Brennan Kebi, where you come from. In Biafra land, there will be compulsory DNA test for all of you. Baby sabotuas. So you go back to the north where you come from. We will you. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Oh my goodness, they are not paying attention. You, they do not pay. I thank this Lawrence. Oh my goodness. I will pass the number to our people to Obido Bieno and our crew in the USA to make sure that he is part of to get black Americans to join. Let us forget Ghana. What, what is Ghana? The majority of slaves we are taken or captives we are taken from Biafra land, not anywhere else. The most expensive slaves in America are we are Biafran slaves. It is there for the whole world to see. His name is Lawrence. I will let Obi Dobian have it. We we'll make contact with them and they can begin to do our work. Or maybe I'll let our mothers contact them actually. I'll pass it to Mrs. Okafo and she will contact. 
she will contact him. Um, this is our dear brother. They call her on the line. There is somebody called. There is somebody called um, um, Glenn David, and I want to be able to speak to him. The name sounds. Glenn David. I want to find out who this Glenn David is. I am the one who is calling him. We want to find out who he is. If he picks up the line, then he will be able to speak to us. Can you hear me, the caller on Skype? I called you back. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Yes, My I... name is Ngozi Eze. I'm calling from Senegal. Hey, this one, your name is Glenn David. Or the grandma, Glenn David. Call one hey, yes, ma... Glenn David. Hey. My leader, my leader uh, please. Um, uh, actually, I'm not really used to Skype. It's because of this uh, program that I ask someone to open this Skype for me. Okay, you're welcome. Please go ahead. Thank, thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Bless you. Yes, please, uh, leader. My submission is just very simple. You know, um, we appreciate your work. First of all, let me thank you for uh, your uh, work, and I also want to tell you that uh, God is going to bless you. Because uh, it's very clear that when you see the blessings of God, that is why you look even younger than me. I'm uh, 41 years old, but if you look at, if you see me, you think that uh, I'm even older than you. So I believe that's the <laughs> blessings of God. It yes. is. It is. Yes. It is. So, so my leader, uh, what I want to say is this. You see, this is our struggle. Uh, you've been doing a, a, a lot of work, and I believe most of us on ground are also doing something very, very, you know, uh, serious. But you see, what gets me really angry is the attitude of most of our leaders and people that I call hypnotized youths, mostly in Abia State. I'm from Abia State. I'm from Ben, the local government. Yes. And uh, I see things that are happening. You see a situation whereby people are dying because of poor health situation, because of poor in pollution, environmental pollution, mostly in Abia State. And you see somebody that is a graduate, you know, who claims that is a graduate, he will say, continue right on my governor. And but you see, these people, I, sometimes I think, I don't know whether these people are mad. <laughs> so now, now, my submission is yeah, that, yeah, is there a way, is there a way we can, I don't know whether it is safe for me to say this thing on air, but I have to say it. I think this march to freedom has to start within our communities, within, right inside our houses. Let us figure out these fools. I, I call it people that their brains. Of course, the people that have hypnotized these youths, they know what they are doing. These guys are so evil and wicked. What they just did are those crumbs coming out from the pockets of the Alamajiri, the Janja weed. So, let this match. I want to submit that if there is a way, if there is any strategy that can be put in place, maybe, you know, in a secret way or whatever, let us begin to fish out, because my unit, my IPOB unit, where I took an oath in, in Iguacha, if you are not an IPOB person, if you're a landlord there and you're not IPOB, you, you are, we don't trust you. You don't come to our meeting, even the community meeting, you don't come. And we tell others that this person is a sabo. It's as simple as that. We don't care what you think. We don't care however you want to look at it. But the truth is that for we to trust you and give you any sensitive position or responsibility, you must be an IPOB person. Because we have Fulanese that are living right behind us, where you have the Pamo Medical School. And... I, I, we, we got information that the owner of that school, uh, 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 still our brother, you know, former governor of River State, uh, Dr. Peter Odele, yeah. have, you know, uh, filed, you know, uh, 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 some suit in the court for mm -hmm. that. There's a cattle market right behind that school. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And sometimes we get information that these people want to invade us. They are going to invade, not they want to. They are going to invade anytime soon. They will invade anytime soon. They will come and invade. Yeah. And there, there's yeah. nothing anybody can. And the, the, some people say, Oh, give us respect. We are elders. Respect our elders. But your friend is slaughtering us. Then what is your job as an elder? I, explain that to me. You are an elder for a reason and for a purpose. And full and a ginger weed are coming in, they're killing us. You're saying, oh, we are elder. Trust us. Just like you said, you see a politician. I say this to people very clearly. Ike Premat was given money to build his, um, he, he claimed his construction firm. Jonathan gave them money. The money meant for Iguacha Enugu Express Road to be rehabilitated. A road built by by Shagari and Mbakwe and Wobodo. Ask them to please, can you fix this road? He pocketed the money. And somebody, a somebody that went to university, acquired first degree, second degree, PhD, LLD, SMC, all the rubbish, is writing and saying, don't insult a great man. You people, you have delayed. You don't know what you're doing. But he went to school. And I said to them, the only question that I said to you is, can you ask Ebremado what he did with the money that Jonathan gave him to build Enugu Iguacha Express Road? Nothing. And because, listen, because he pocketed that money, the Janjawi, the Fulani, they know that is compromised. So he can no longer speak against Fulani headsmen killing people in Enugu. Do you know why? Once he opens his mouth, they'll tell him, we'll probe you. We'll make public all the money you have stolen. These are the things that our people don't understand. It's not that we hate anybody. We are saying, as he quite rightly said, once you are contaminated, please stay out of the way and allow us to proceed on our journey. Thank you very much for calling. We have stayed, I think it's nearly um, two and a half hours now. Baby saboteurs, some of you, I say people are just making me laugh. I'm reading some comments on my page. They're saying that some of them, their father is in Cameroon. If you know your baby Sabotua, uh, start now to look for your for your homes. Some of you are from Niger Republic because we have some soldiers from Niger come to fight between 67 and 70. So some of you are from Niger Republic, go and look for your 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 family in, in Niger Republic, Niger Republic. Some of you are from the Cameroon. Go and look for where your father comes from, the Cameroon, because there will be compulsory... I want to prove this thing to everybody, that there is no genuine, full-blooded Biafran who is not a lover of freedom. None. The only person who will have issues with how IPOB is doing, is piloting the affairs of Biafra, is one, those who have been misled or misinformed, and secondly, by those who are fathered by people who are not their friends. Your father is not... Look at how people from Egala, Kogi, is yearning for Biafra. People from Isan is yearning for Biafra. You that claim, of course, uh, you are from the north, most of you. I thank you all this very morning. It seems as if um, I should continue. But we can't. We have to bring it to a close next week, Friday, the same time, 7 a.m. in the morning. But what I have to say to all of you is this. We must keep on, we must be relentless, even more ruthless. But as I have said, allow Niamodo to be. I am rescinding the order that I gave. Do not stone Niamodo, leave him. We give them only three months. But any day there is a full and in fact they are doing it already they are taking over they are invading everywhere just pray for them to stop eating cow meat and to repent or else what will come in the future they will not like it it will be more than an insult we are not insulting anybody we are simply telling you the truth if you are a fool and we tell you you are a fool it is not an insult you work anybody by saying you work anybody by an elder, by a very stupid elder. It doesn't mean people are insulting you. We are merely telling you the truth. You are there and your so-called children are being slaughtered. You're not doing anything about it. And you want respect. Are you not mad? You must be insane. And hopefully, 
and by next week friday some of the saboteurs will summon, summon the courage i will say to come and debate us on air we will not chase you away you'll be there and make all your points once again i thank you very much for listening from the very bottom of my heart and sincerely speaking from me from here